despite all its benefits, the internet brought on cyber war and the need for cyber defense. And with the mushrooming uptake of miniature computers called smartphones by you and me, the threat is just so much more personal. Cyber attacks on African countries only became a reality with the arrival of broadband internet on the continent around 2009. This is caused by, of course, the growth in, in connectivity and the fact that our infrastructure is, is underdeveloped. Unfortunately, up till now, there's only a little pockets of cyber defense research. Most of the companies and industry actually focus on intrusion detection and protection, but not real cyber defense companies. As far as we know, there's no antivirus companies that set up in Africa. The Cyber Defence Research Group of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is the oldest such group in Africa doing work for both military and civilian purposes. We have to support the military to set up these systems to be able to defend the country from attacks. But uh, the problem in South Africa is actually the cyber crime and attacks against citizens for cyber crime. You know, we find similar problems in Russia, in China, uh, in the US. Uh, but research seems to suggest that um, the, there's a strong correlation between the growth of the economy and the cyber security attacks. We have very little universities who actually train cyber security specialists. We have no certs or national security centers that actually address if there's a real concern happening right now. It means we are being targeted and we don't have enough people to address it. Although finally published late last year, the Cyber Crimes and Cyber Security Bill has been criticized and it's not signed into law yet. The government and the CSIR also launched the Virtual National Cybersecurity Hub a year ago. The Cyber Defence Research Group runs various other projects. One of the most impressive projects is CyberProtect. Uh, this system has mainly two main objectives. The first being that we scan the internet for vulnerable hardware, uh, vulnerable to certain cyber attacks. Uh, this information is then displayed on a map where you can filter down and you can see more information on each hardware being displayed. Uh, the second objective is where we search the internet for personal identifiable information, also known as PII. So we take all of this information and then also on a map, a world map, we plot all of the websites responsible for leaking those type of information. It is not a run-of-the-mill um, job. If you have um, a mind that likes to think outside of the box and look at um, issues from different angles, it's a perfect career for you to go into. For now, the idea of a South African cyber defense force may sound a bit geeky, but the CSIR Cyber Defense Research Group is laying the foundation for a critical future security need. Marisa de Clark, Joburg Today.